We are playing Coral Man. Hello, everybody. Um, hello. This, hello. Hello. I'm George. I'm JD. Uh, okay, let's do a new game. I already started one game, but we're we're, we're gonna start a new game for testing all it out, huh? Yeah. So, knock knock. Oh, oh, it starts sitting. off like Tem Tem and <laughs> and Poke. Oh, I don't know, maybe in the bedroom. You can be and with mother. somebody's mama. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll let you do the voice of mother. Rise and shine, honey. Didn't you hear your alarm? Don't close your eyes again, you little. Sh Today's your first day of work at Lux Solas. <laughs> All right, quest started prologue. Why don't you put on something nice? You want to make a good impression. I don't know why you're saying that this is like Pokemon. This isn't a start off like Pokemon at all. Okay. So like, because we're starting a job. A job at Lux Solus. It's always with your mama waking you up. Uh, what clothing? What do you like? Okay, this is JD's favorite part of every game. Oh, you want me to wear a dress? Ooh. Uh, Which anything with purple in it. Okay, let me try to find the purple outfit. Uh, wow, look at look at all these Jesus. options. Oh my goodness, I don't see a purple dress though. Maybe this one. Okay. That's like yeah. a that's like a purple. Oh well, this one has like a little bit of blue and purple. So there you go. Okay, that works. Uh, you want the glasses? Well, there. all those look the same. Huh? <laughs> You want the, the big bun hair in the back? <laughs> <laughs> wow, it looks like a poop emoji uh, on we'll her head. <laughs> hey. I'm going to give her a white. Look, I'll make Whoa. a white. <laughs> 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 oh, look. She can wear goggles. <laughs> cool. What is that? A cap? Like, what? It looks like something from Panda Super Mario hair. Brothers. Like that uh, Which spiky one? ball thing. The blue and pink thing on top. This one? Yeah, oh, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know you're talking about like the, the beetle thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the, where the helmets. Looks like a bonnet. I guess it's like a bonnet. The bow looks nice. Oh, it's like a Yorkie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll name, we'll name her Yorkie then. <laughs> uh, how do I get switch the Yorkie. caps? There we go. Uh, whoopsie. Okay, I guess it's going to be Torky then. Torky. <laughs> Torky. Right, Torky did Yorkie. Torky. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, yay! I'm ready for the interview. <laughs> I'm a, I'm already. They're gonna be like, uh, "How old are you?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still remember the day I won this poster. It was a triumph. Wow, oh such a God. great uh, trophy! All the pocket have. money I've been saving. Now it's time to use it. Five hundred dollars. Fuck it, money, if I do say so. Uh, play Flappy Swirmy. No, it's okay. Oh, I can play Flappy Bird. <laughs> Flappy Swirmy? Is that really Flappy Bird? I never turned on the computer. Wait, let me see. Oh, yeah, it's Flappy Bird. <laughs> if you wanted to play Flappy Bird. Oh, my God. You're going to be Whoa. late for the interview. Oh, my God, I did amazing. Let me try one more time. I got to at least get past the you first. You got 12, at least. <laughs> 12, Somehow you got 12. Lowest, nope, I got 9. I, th I was about to say 12 was the lowest score possible, but then <laughs> I just got 9. <laughs> okay. Flap, flap, you stupid bird. You Come swirmy. On. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm done. I don't I didn't I didn't sign up for Flappy Swirmy. I signed up for Coromon. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if you notice, Coromon sounds very similar. Whoa, I don't want to change. I got my... Yay! You got the How cool glasses. Cool emoji. Oh, there it is. Um... Cool emoji. Oh, there's my mama's bedroom. Can I steal her pocket money too? <laughs> Don't Let's look worry, how much honey. she's got her wallet. Don't worry, mom. I'm just looking uh, for money. <laughs> um, you can change outfits. Uh, okay. Oh, look. There's my brother. <laughs> He's playing video games. I broke your flappy swirmy high score last night. Well, it would have been easy because it was just a nine. <laughs> beaten by your little bro. All you had to do was just get a 10. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey, don't make fun of my flappy, swirmy skills. Good morning. Good morning, turkey. Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky charm. Turkey. Thank you. You must be so excited. You're finally going to become a Lux Solus battle researcher. Whoa. 
To celebrate your new job, I made a reservation at your favorite breakfast place. We can eat head there before going to the station. Woohoo, look! That so sounds happy. wonderful, dear. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. I don't want to be stuck waiting in line okay. like snooze. Okay, mum. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, people take their breakfast seriously here in Denver. Uh, ooh, this Serious breakfast. This book is about all the different Karmon species. I'd rather discover them myself. Where's your guidebook? Oh, no guidebook. You should book. study, because you're going to be a what? Soulless something <laughs> researcher, big time person. A Luxus Soulless, that was, re Lux Soulless Researcher. That was a big title, right? I mean, just yeah. say tamer. <laughs> yeah. Trainer, tamer, tamer yeah, uh, exactly. monster catcher. So uh, here we are, Turkey. <laughs> the starting line of your own adventure. Please stop laughing when you say my name. You gave it to me, Mom. Look at you, all grown up and choosing your own path in life. I'm yes, a little dear. sad to see you go. Just a little bit, just a little <laughs> bit. But I'm also very proud of you. Ever since you were little, you've been dreaming of working for Lux Solis. I know you're ready for this. Yes, I've been That's why I got you a little something. I've been saving up for this day so you don't have to worry about gold. <laughs> Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Yes, give me that sweet, sweet money. $3,000. That's that her all, dress you stupid up. bitch. I wanted more money. <laughs> uh, thanks, Mom. That's very sweet. I'll make good use of it. Glad to hear that, honey. Okay, Mom. Oh, you, you, look, you're... the train is coming. Yeah, it's like a bullet train. Oh. That's You're moving very no slowly. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, this is... <clears throat> you know how, like, Tam Tam, they had, like, a lot of, like, different variations on, on Pokemon, and they're like, well, this is Pokemon, but this has this thing, and this has this thing. This is pretty much, like, straight-up Pokemon, <laughs> this game. It is very similar. Uh, there's a few differences, but I would say this was much more similar to just being like, play, let's play Pokemon for the Game Boy Advance or something. Yeah, let's go. it's an old-school... Yeah, Pokemon it, look, right? Yeah, it's got the Super Nintendo graphics, so I would say this looks like a Game Boy Advance Pokemon game. Um, so pretty. I was playing a little bit of it, of it, and then I started getting to my Pokemon mode, where that's like where I start playing and lose track of time, and I'm like, oh crap, I need to get ready for work. <laughs> uh, so that definitely can happen with this game. Um, so the beginning, like, every one of these creature collecting games is slow before you actually start doing anything. So you have to, like, get over here. Someone's got to teach you the rules of the world, and then you got to get your first creature. And then, you know, all that good stuff. Introduce you to whatever like, scientist, researcher, person, expert, professor, teacher, mentor, coach. Professor, guidance, mentor, teacher, coach. counselor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am your guidance counselor, Oak. <laughs> A floating globe. How does this crazy contraption even work? <laughs> I want to go back home. I'm scared. <laughs> There's too much stuff out here. Um... Hello, and welcome to Luxolis Campus. How may I assist you? I'm scared! I want to go home! <laughs> Hello, my name is Taki. I'm starting out as a battle researcher today. A new colleague. How lovely. I think you'll have a wonderful time working for Luxolis. Please give me a moment while I check your registration. Okay! Aha, uh -huh, I see. It looks like we still need to know your preferred difficulty. With this, we can personalize your adventure. Uh, most trainers use normal difficulty, which I would recommend for the regular experience. Take this handbook, read it well, it explains the difference of each difficulty in detail. Um, okay. Difficulty handbook? Oh, okay, I'll read it carefully. Um, okay, so there's a few different difficulties. Um, normal, we're just gonna do normal. Um, Let's easy, be normal. Yeah, hard is basically... Or hard... Insane? Yeah. Um, hard is basically, if you've ever heard the term Nuzlocke, which is like for Pokemon, um, which is where they play that if a Pokemon dies in battle, it dies for real, and you have to oh. release that Pokemon. It was basically those rules here applying oh, to the game. Oh, okay. copy that. So it's like if your Coromon dies in battle, it's freaking dead, and you just gotta go you catch it. You gotta another, go bury it. That's no matter it. How, how much time you spend training him or building him up, he's dead. Um, which I've never That's played with. That's realistic. 
It's mostly for like streamers and stuff, do those rules to make it like increase the stakes of the battles. Uh, before we continue, oh, before we continue, can you please tell me if you have followed the Lux Solus training course before? Yes, I have. We don't need to go over this. In that case, you qualify the less extended course. Thank you. Um, uh, the less extended course. Uh, okay, so let's get our gauntlet. So we get to have like a cool gauntlet to wear, a very medieval style gauntlet to wear in what? our arm. Really? Yeah, look at that. Whoa, are you uh, gonna snap your fingers? Let's see, I always go with blue, so I'm gonna go red this time. To match your bow. Oh, oh. it does match. Torky. Oh, you got such a cute little outfit. Yay, Yay. she's happy it matches. Good choice. That one goes well with your eyes. What? <laughs> yeah, I got red eyes. <laughs> I'm an albino rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking Satan. I have red <laughs> eyes. Uh, okay. We got the Lux Recall. Okay, please stand still. I'll now activate your Lux Recall RC. Have fun and shine bright. Ooh, send me to the basement. Okay, so let's. Okay, so we gotta talk to this one. We gotta get our first. A lab. Of our course. first Coral Mine. I'm gonna try my hardest not to say Pokemon or Temtem when I play this. <laughs> so you could do the voice of Nelson. Oh, that smell. He was getting high. That smell of a starry eyed <laughs> battle researcher. He to receive their first Coral Mine. You didn't take a shower this morning, did you? It smells uh, so good in here. What, are you, what a rude young man. <laughs> Just. Hold tight a moment while I sniff your hair. I finish updating the Koroma <laughs> connectifier. I don't care for this. What are you, Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> <laughs> that should do it. I'm Nelson, by the way. I see you've opted to take the quick course. You must be excited to start your journey. I don't well, have then, much let's time get left. Right to it. Can we hurry this up? <laughs> Stand in front of the hatches when you're ready. Stop giving me some lip shit. Here are your options. Uh, okay. Now seeing the fire Koromon Toruga. This Koromon is very strong, loves the battle, and can learn powerful moves. Isn't that all of them? That's silly to say. Nibblegar, a water type Koromon. This Koromon has high endurance in battles and is able to outlast most other Koromon. Whoa. And finally, the Ice Koromon, Cub Zero. Cub Zero sounds like <laughs> sounds like a certain Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> he will fight till the death. This Koromon is a jack of all trades, the perfect balance between offense and defense. Cub Zero likes to ice the enemies, do an uppercut, and decapitate them. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take a closer look? Trust your instincts and pick the one you most like. Uh, okay, so I picked Nibble Nibblegar in my last one. He's a shark. He's a a shark. He's a shark? A rat? Yeah, no, he's a. Sh he looks like a rat in that picture, but he's a shark. God, that's uh, confusing. Um, Toruga, who do, do you like fire or ice? Are you feeling hot or cold? <laughs> um, let's go with Cub cold. Zero. Cold? Because he's, he's like a, the jack of all trades. Cub Zero, sure thing. It's a sure thing. Uh, okay, so let's give a nickname to Cub Zero. Let's call him. Um, um, how about f f f f f f f not Frank, another name, <laughs> pick a different name. Foofy. Foofy? Foofy, like that? Foofy. <laughs> Foofy. 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 Yeah. Foofy. Foofy. Your cup zero seems to have the nimble trait. Very useful indeed. But you won't get far out there with just one Korriban. Take this patter pit for extra protection. Yeah, you got a patter bit too. Patter bit. Yay! Yay! To help you out on your adventure, we'll provide you with this generous employee starter package. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I got a data chip. Ooh, ooh. Nice. A spinner. Times five. HP cake S times two. SP cake S times two. Lux recall times two. Type manual times one. What? No tumbler? Oh no! All that's left for you is to get your first assignment. Regal specifically asked for you, so I'll teleport you to the R and D lab. Hold on to something. Here you go. Hold on to your butts. Ooh, my butts! Wow. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're in the R and D lab. The Gantlin is a powerful tool. It can be upgraded with any amount of modules to satisfy all your needs. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> Goodbye! 
Work, work, work. Gotta work. No time for a break. Oh, okay, I'm gonna Get leave out of here. now. Okay, Get out of my bye. face. I need to work. What a rude young woman. <laughs> I don't like you. Whoa. Hello. He's laughing at you. <laughs> Yo. Must be. <laughs> Emojis the away. new battle researcher, Dorky! Dorky! Oh, uh, yes, I am. Who are you? I, I knew it! My instincts never fail me! My name is Larry, and I will be all about your magical world of the gauntlet. Ooh. This way, please! <laughs> this is very dramatic. <laughs> I'm gonna freaking break this microphone again. Here we are in the gauntlet module test area! The gauntlet on your arm is a technological masterpiece. Besides carrying your core, man, it can do much more. This multi tool, it's the multi tool for Lux Solis employees. I talk in a very sing songy way. Let me give you a quick tour of our research! Okay, I'll stop doing that <laughs> before I drive the dog crazy. Uh, my colleague here, Vel Velma, has calibrated the push module. She optimizing the power so it outputs at 100% capacity. Looks cool, huh, Torque? Keep it up, uh, Velma. And Percy over there is developing a brand new module of his own. Let's say hi. This feels like an Epcot ride. <laughs> Percy, my man, can you explain what you're working on for our new colleague? Ah, uh, the new... Oh, you could be Percy. Ah, uh, the new battle researcher has taken an interest in my project. It's quite simple. You see, I started by combining a pl spark plug together with flammable grass to create a combustion that's... Hold up, that's too technical. Can you demonstrate instead? Fine. Fuck. Step back, please. Uh-oh. Hey, uh, yeah. Whoa, careful, you pyromaniac. Sorry, I got a little carried away. It's okay, no one got hurt this time. Thank you, Percy. Oh, it's Professor Xavier. <laughs> uh, Larry, Torky. Larry, I need to borrow Torky for a bit. There are a bit important matters we need to go over. Ah, <laughs> uh, so Torky, this is the one you told me about earlier. So you can borrow my protege. <laughs> well, as with the most matters in life, the stink module can wait. I'll be hanging out on the bridge at Radiant Park. Come to me when you're done, Torky. Whoa, everybody gets to teleport everywhere. Right? Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> it's nice to finally meet you, Torky. I'm Rigel, head of the R&D lab. Let me explain everything in the privacy of our restricted area. Because of the possible radiation exposure, we require everyone to wear a lab coat inside. Here, I brought you one that should fit you. That's going to keep the radiation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> that makes sense. Follow me, please. This cotton can keep any radiation at bay, or so we think. Good luck. <laughs> Special. <laughs> Whoa. Welcome to the restricted access area. Pretty impressive, no? What is this floating thing in front of me? <laughs> I did not understand what you said, but I will talk anyway. This here is what our Titan Task Force is all about. It's called Titan Essence. It started manifesting in v Velua a couple of months ago. What does it do? It's up to the Task Force to figure that out. A team of which you will be a valuable addition. Oh, thank you. You want me to join the Titan Task Force? Yes, we do. You should show us great motivation that I will show you assigned to this team. Sorry, I'm a little bit drunk. Anyway, <laughs> these Titan essences will slow disintegrate without the right contaminated device. Recently, we thought back for research. We developed a gauntlet module that will bring you one step closer to understanding Titan essence. Module the essence collector is able to stabilize Titan essences as well as send us valuable research data. That's where you'll come in, you'll be equipped with the Essence Collector. Which means your job, in addition to being a battle researcher, is to assist us in gathering Titan Essences. That would be an honor. Where can I find these Titan Essences? Come, I'll show you. 
Uh, it's really hard to switch back and forth between different voices. Then it's like an audiobook. I know. This Titan Essence is the lab this Titan Essence in the lab was embedded with the elemental Titan of Donar Island. But this is not the only one in existence. We've pinpointed the location of six other Titan Essences in Velua. Our hypothesis is that when we manage to contain them together, only then will they show their true potential. Okay, so I'm looking for these essences. I'll do my best. We'll cut this a little short because this gets a little talky here. You know, blah, There's blah, a lot of blah, 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 blah. Like I said, these always start out with all this stuff. But that's basically our goal is to collect the six essences in the world. Um, okay. So let's and that's do that. all on you. That's apparently. all on me. Uh, there's only one person below who's able to work with that level of precision. His name is Perrin. Okay, so we gotta go to Hayville. Hayville, Hayville. Hayville. <laughs> okay. Hayville. Okay, there we go. We finally got our mission. Uh, okay, so now we can start to play. In... Oh my god, we get to actually start the game. Yeah? Let's wow, get out okay. of here. Let's go. I'm running <clears throat> running away before someone Run else away talks before to me. Else. That's yeah. like at a party when you're ready to leave and then someone sees you from across the room, but they kind of wait, but they're in the middle of talking to someone else and you can tell they want to come talk to you in a second. So you're like, okay, we got to get the fuck out of here <laughs> before before like, Henrietta yeah. comes talks to me. Because if I have to sit here and talk to Henrietta, she's going to come here. It's going to be like 30 more minutes while she tells me about her stupid, stupid grandkid that she thinks is so good at hockey but really sucks and i gotta sit there and pretend like her freaking grandson nelson is good at hockey when he's really just like barely stands on two skates and <laughs> it's gonna be forever and i gotta try to be nice and it's like oh i gotta get out of this party anywho uh so we started here um so where am i doing where am i going uh oh oh i'm over here okay uh, so I we're going to Hayville. Hayville on Hayville. vacation. Yes. Okay, I got a little confused because I skipped the beginning part of this game, which makes sense. Oh, look, we oh. got our first battle! Oh my God, who's it gonna be? Oh, oh look, it's another powder bet. We already got one of these. Um, ooh, you're like bell. a snowball. I didn't oh, notice yeah. that. Foofy. I guess I should name myself Fluffy, but I guess it's Foofy. He's like a level one powder bet. Oh jeez, I almost killed him in one hit. Should I catch another patter bit? So mine can have like a little friend and they can like talk to each other. You, know, you can't breed here like Tim Tim? No, I don't. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I haven't seen any male or female symbols. So so I guess yeah, that, yeah, yeah, I don't think there's breeding in Koromon. Um, yeah, you can't have babies. Oh, oh no. Like a robot. He broke out. Did you see him break out? Fine, I'm just going to kill him. Fine. If you don't want to be with me, then I don't want to be with you. I'll find someone who appreciates me for who I am. Don't need to take this from you. You uh, can't rename your pitter pat or patter pit. I think so. Let's see. Nickname. Who you want me to nickname? Okay, <laughs> you 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 brought it up. Who you want to nickname? But it has to start with an X. Oh, um, jeez. You can you can do an X dash if you want. If I can, yeah. So you can do like X, X, like X. X-ray. <laughs> X, X, X. Existential. X fae. X fat. <laughs> Oopsie. X fat. X fat. There you go. <laughs> okay. Oh my I God. guess that'll work. Get all X fat. Um, X fat. Uh, oh, I got a spinner. A I got fidget spinner? Uh, yeah, well, spinner, okay, so spinners are like the temp cards of this. Oh, it's an Armando. Armando. Do we want to catch an Ar Armando? He looks familiar. He's like a Armado? mix between like an um, armadillo. armadillo and like maybe a rabbit or something. Oh, well, he's got like fangs coming out of the side of his mouth. Oh, he's a level three. Looks like something from Temtem. I could have sworn I've seen something like that there. Tam Tam, what's that? <laughs> oh, maybe we should bring up. So, guys, if you are liking our Coromon and you're like, I want to see them play more creature collecting games, well, you are in luck. <laughs> in for a tweet. <laughs> because we have a lot, a lot of episodes of Tam Tam that you can watch. Almost a hundred. <laughs> yeah, we have like 92 episodes where we start Tam Tam from the beginning. And we play all six islands and get to the end. And we are going to probably do live streams of the Temtem after 
after party, the Temtem, the you know the after party in the hotel lobby, the after game um, where we're gonna do dojo rematches and all that good stuff. We just gotta figure out how to set up a stream, which is probably gonna happen this week. So next this weekend, this Friday, maybe maybe we'll be doing oh, okay. a Temtem stream. You say stream. so. Uh, okay. Um, so Armando, um, let's see. So he has look at you can see his stats here. So. To, uh, I was about to say Temtem. Korum on stats. <laughs> really easy. You have attack, defense, special attack, special defense. So, you know, very similar. You have physical attacks and special attacks. Um, Bunch of numbers. Usually each Koromon has certain attack, you know, certain stats that they're good at. Like this one has really high defense. Um, so that's cool. Um, right here, the potential. Okay, so that's like, you remember how in Temtem we had Lumas and they were like fancy and had a lot of things. Uh -huh. They have those here too. There's actually oh, three okay. levels. So most of the time, like 99% of the time, you're going to run into regular Koromon. And they're going to say standard is potential. But you could potentially get an uncommon one and then a rare one that's going to oh. have a lot of potential. Like a lot of potential. Just, mm, just a lot of yeah. mm, potential. Mega, uh. mega oh, we gotta give a We got to give a nickname to Armando, which I call him. Armando. It looks like it says Armado. Okay, then somebody's I'm, reading it wrong. I'm gonna nick, I'm gonna name him <laughs> Army, Army, Army like Army Hammer, where he <laughs> wants to eat other people. <laughs> well, then Army the cannibal. <laughs> Army, can I fit Army the cannibal? Let's see. Army, Army the canny, because I don't want to feel like sitting here typing out the whole word cannibal. Oh nope, no, that's it. Nope, Army nope, the sea. Nope. There delete, it goes. Delete, delete, delete. <laughs> He's Army the sea. Oh my god, he loves to eat. Milestone. All of it. Oh boy, oh boy. Now we have three Coromon. Isn't that exciting? We're getting That's so many pretty new fast, creatures. yeah. Oh, we okay. need to go heal though because my fluffy's my foofy is not doing my so foofy, good. Foofy. He's, he needs he needs some sweet, sweet health. Uh, woo, look at me dash. Look at me run. I'ma move out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a running. I got diarrhea. Ooh, boop 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 boop. Um, would you like me to take care of your? Would you like me to take care of your Koromon? It's like, ah, I'll why are you gentle. saying it that way? I'm um, so gentle. So gentle, you said. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a nice little massage. Yeah. Um, there's some stuff here. Actually, there's some boxes. This is the city where we started off because I said to skip the training. That's where it threw me off for a second. I was like, where am I? What is going on? Um, but that was because I skipped the training. Skipper. But you guys get it. You know what's going on. I like that. That's uh, actually a nice feature that you could skip the whole beginning part. Because it's like in Pokemon, they make you sit through all that. Like, the Pokemon consists of creatures of like all big and size, short sizes. And we're like, dude, I understand. This is like the 17th Pokemon it. game I played. <laughs> uh, we get it. We know. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Professor Numbnuts. And I'm going to be... <laughs> Professor Numbnuts. <laughs> Always somebody like that, right? Taki. Well, what was the voice? Oh, Larry again. Well, let's see. What was the voice I was doing? It's hard to sometimes remember. It was kind of dramatic. It was like theatrical. Taki. So the rumors are true. The new Titan Task Force member. It's you, isn't it? Uh -huh. I'm so happy for you. Let's celebrate with some stink module training. Stinky. You don't like the name? Well, I bet you love what it can do. Normally, the patch of grass over here is full of battle hungry wild Pokemon. But <laughs> I said Pokemon. That sounds like Pokemon to get high. All right, we got this. We're going to use the stink module, and then you can you don't get run into battles. Um, it's all on your gauntlet, your little arm thing. Make sure you use it. Okay, have fun. Goodbye. Don't listen Snap to me. Snap your fingers. Um, well, how do I use it? It's Oh, my controller turned off. Oh, there. Now it's back on. There oh. it goes. No. Stink module. There you go. Sorry, my controller is acting up. I swear to God. Talk to it. Controller, don't do that anymore. Yeah. That's not cool. Um, okay. Have a nice day. See you. Yeah, Bye. so when it's flashing like that, that means you won't run into any Koromon in that patch of grass. That's what your stink module will do. Stinkiness. Oh, look, I got more money. I'm so oh, I'm so, so bogged rich. down by coins. <laughs> I'm carrying 6,000 coins with me. They're so heavy. What is that, a pig in a blanket? It's a swarmy. It's, it's a swarmy. like an oh, appetizer. You were asking about that guy at the intro screen that was the O in Koromon. I think that's him. Oh, that's his face there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, there you go. Okay, so it was a pig in a blanket. <clears throat> 
He's not a pig. He's a swermy. I think he's supposed to be a worm. An appetizer. With a with a with a like um, a wing nut around him. Not a wing nut. Like a nut. A, a nut. nut. A nut. It's just called a nut. So is another machine. 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 What's a dream spinner, which makes it easier to catch sleeping Cormon? Well, he's not sleeping. He's a regular spinner. Well, his eyes does look kind of closed. I don't know. Oh, but he's he's just that's just the way he is. He squints a lot. Because wow, he has like bad that's vision. a big ass device <laughs> carrying around compared to a pokeball or a tem tem card. The spinner. Yeah. Oh, see, you just gotta throw it. It's futuristic. It's cool. Whatever. I like uh, the tem tem card because I could just put it in my wallet, stick it in the back. <laughs> My yeah, back pocket. And, and then keep your creatures inside a tiny little card. Oh my god, why is this <laughs> controller is giving me? Okay, so this one's got really good attack and defense and speed. He's pretty balanced actually, so he's kind of a good, a good, a good, uh, a good, a good, a good jack of all trades. So he's like Foofy. Foofy. Foofy uh, was oh yeah. a jack oh of my all god, trades. This controller too. is going bananas. I'm gonna have to switch controllers when we. Oh Jesus. Um, I think I'm gonna have to switch controllers here. Mm. What's his problem? I don't know. Come on, Bill Gates, make a better controller. Uh, okay, we'll call him. We'll call him Bubsy. Boobsy. 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 <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Boobsy, join your squad. Oh, Boobsy. Oh, he's so so precious, my precious little Boobsy. Let's put you up front. Precious. Fire. Uh, okay, so I could switch you, Boobsy. Let's put you up front. Uh, okay. You need to yeah. level up. You need to get, you need to get nice and big and get those, get those Boobsies up there. Um, okay. Perky Boobsy. Perky Boobsy. <laughs> get a little perkiness. <laughs> Who's this guy? Greetings, young traveler. I'm the Ranger of Radiant Park. If you follow the path north, you'll reach Havel. Be careful when entering the grass, though. Wild Quarmon live there. Here, take these cakes. They'll help you get to Haven more easily. You got a smoke, man. A cigarette. Goodbye. How does he know where we're going, creepo? I'm gonna follow you. You're so sexy with that gray hair and that bow. Oh, look, it's Armando again. Hello, Armando. I'm gonna send out Boobsy. Armando. Oh, Boobsy's almost dead. Nope, someone else go out there. All right, expat. <clears throat> expat sounds like a, like... Like a an infomercial for like a like nutrient slash training system. They're like, when I started using X fat, I went from a size twenty to a size twelve. It X'd out the fat. X out those fats, my friends. X them out. Um. Okay. So should I just slam it or should I use my feelers? Like, before X fat, I was eating twenty Twinkies a day. Now with X fat, I'm down to five Twinkies a day. Thanks, <laughs> X fat. X fat changed my life and it can change yours too. And then at the very end, they're like, warning, X fat does not work. It doesn't actually do anything. The FDA. Not approved by the FDA. <laughs> There's no, no evidence suggests that X fat does anything to reduce fat or improve muscle growth. <laughs> it's a placebo. <laughs> yeah. Makes you feel good. Bye, you idiots. <laughs> oh my god. X fat, you slam. Boom. Armando is dead. Armando has died. Bye. Oh, my boobsy grew to level three. Ooh, oh, level boobsy. three perkiness. Rage. Oh, now it can rage out. Oh my god, that's like what the happens when JD plays machine. It Takes Two. She rage or when JD plays a uh, 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 Rocket League. Boom. Actually, that's like both of us when we play Rocket League. <laughs> rage on. Uh, like ah, why can't I get this ball through that big old? And thingy Mitchie gay. Yeah. Oh my god. That game is fun until it does it gets not fun. <laughs> until you start losing too much. <laughs> until you like, play with someone online who's more. just like <laughs> I am gonna destroy you. <laughs> uh the world says I can't find a I can find a tattle here, but no successful far I don't have a tattle. Oh, there's here a tattle. Tattler. That must be a, like a rare tattle Coromon. I don't see the birds though. I wanted to catch a bird. Is there a bird here? They're in the sky. I'm There's just... a bird. Oh yeah, I just talked about so it. Cool. So oh, cool. Oh, he's cute. Yeah, I want this guy. He's my favorite. I'm gonna rage now. Rage. I'm gonna go to like a metallic. Gonna get all very heavy rage. metal on it. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to some anthrax and be like, "What the hell just happened? He died." He fainted. 
Oh my god, I looked down for a second and he's dead? Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> You're busy trying to make a voice or something. I was like moving my microphone. Oh, now my headphones fell out. Oh. Hold on a second, guys. Oh, because he's level 5. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, he's so strong. I'm going to get this strong silly quill. A silly quill. Silly, silly. Oh, he isn't. That, that looks so that? disturbing. Worms. Feelers. Okay, so this move, if you want to know what these do, you hold down the A button and then it tells you and it says, find the weak spot of your opponent. The next attack on the target does 2.5 times damage, but cannot be a critical hit. Um, so that's what that does. Looks like the movie Slither with all those wormy things. Oh, that was Sucks. such a good movie. Oh, man. That was like, what's her name? Um, Elizabeth Banks. That was like one of her early roles. Yeah. Uh, and then, first... um, yeah, that was also, what's his name? James Gunn. Oh, he did so good in that movie. I think that's where he he got his like friendship with uh with what's the guy from from Firefly? Um, oh yeah. Castle. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and he was Nathan in, Fillion. Yeah, yeah, and he put him in the Suicide Squad. That was yeah. awesome. He had he had like a little role there at the beginning as the detachable. Yeah, it was too kid. short. <laughs> yeah, he should. The whole movie should have been about him. I want to see a solo movie about the detachable kid. <laughs> yeah. The arms detached. Spin-off movie? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Silly Quill. He's good. He's got a lot of speed and a lot of attack. So he's a good... He's a good Koromon. His his move is Pep Talk. This Koromon gives a Pep Talk to a member of the squad overcharging their SP by 15 points. <laughs> That's how we need a Pep Talk before we get into an, any battle. Yeah, should we give You're a You're gonna nickname? do great, man. I guess we're gonna give a nickname to all of them. I don't know why I'm asking. Um... So he's a bird, he's a raven, so I think his name should be, let's make it like, um, Ravi. Wah, Wah, like the gas stations? <laughs> wah, 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 let's see how many times I can do it. Wah, oh wah, oh, wah, 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 Today's episode is sponsored by wah, wah, when you need gas, get you, get your ass to wah, wah. <laughs> oh, Boobsy awakened some of his potential. Oh, that's the other good thing about this game that's a little different than any other game is that even if your Koromon dies, it still gets the experience from battle. So that's kind of a cool thing. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I think his thing is attack. So let's give him some physical attack and maybe raise his defense a little bit. Because a good, Koromon's like a good, like, football team. You need, you need to have good defense. 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 Yay, Boopsie got perked up. Oh, yeah. He's got, he got a little excited there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, so this is Koromon. If you were like wondering what it is, um, I really like the music too. We don't have it on super loud, but, but it's a I, I, I dig the music in this game. Easy listening. <laughs> yeah, it's like soothing music. Um, okay, so let's go heal first. Kind of like that game we started playing up that we like a lot now, right? Wingspan. Oh my god, Wingspan is such Real a good game. Real chill game right there. It's such a good game. Um, it's really fun. Yeah, it's a really fun, chill game. We played it on the PC, so we didn't play like the actual like uh, board, board game, game, board game version. But oh, that's her. Wow, wow, wow! This is deep. I forgot. So funny! Wow, wow, wow! <laughs> thank so you. So funny! Oh my god! Thank you. I'll be here all week. Oh look, you want to do the voice of Beth? Welcome to our local trainer hub. Would you like me to take care of your Koromon? One yeah. moment, please. Thank you, young lady. Your Koromon had a great time and are fully rested. Come again. Okay, cool. And then if you need to buy some stuff, we should buy... I have a lot of HP cakes. Do I need... I need more spinners, though. Oh, she doesn't sell spinners. This oh, she cake does sell stuff's spinners. for you? It's for the Koromon. That's how they uh, heal. Wow. That's all they eat? Cake? Uh-huh. Jeez. What a life. Oh, my God. And they never go to their thighs. It's they like, just keep looking at I battle, but I get cake as a reward at the end there. They just keep their beautiful figure, and they look so they look so cool and sexy all the time. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, oh, where is he? He should be in here. What, uh, what is this? A kitchen? It's a blacksmith. He works on our gauntlet here. You, we oh, were just okay. at the Renaissance Festival. You saw the blacksmith hammering away at the <laughs> ring. 
Oh my god. Yeah, he had like the thing where we just, we only caught like a little bit of it. The glass spinner was cool, man. I could watch a video of someone spinning glass for like hours, right? Yeah, when that he, turns you on. Yeah, when he took like because it's like on this metal rod and they just kind of spin it and it turns into a cup. It's like really yeah, cool. Yeah, he's got to stick something in it. it does kind of, kind of sounds erotic. Mm -hmm. but he's got to stick it. And it makes it wider. It wow, that still sounds erotic. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's, it's, he's trying to shape a goblet. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> but it was really cool. There's probably someone on YouTube who's just like, watch glass spinning for two hours straight. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Beezle, Beezle. Oh, Beezle. he says something. The hey. other ones say something? I didn't notice. They, oh, he's going to eat your ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to get destroyed. Wow, he's level eight. Ooh, I shouldn't have been leveling up. All right, Foofy, I believe that you can do this. You're the first of the siblings. Get your ass <laughs> out there. Everyone's going to die, but good. let's see. Poofy, don't die on me. Oh boy. Um, what does Q pose do? Uh, lowering the defense. Okay, let's try to lower his defense as much as I can. Oh no, don't slam me. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. She's doing a number on you. I'm gonna keep lowering his defense until I can just hit him, kill him with one hit. That's my plan. Is that gonna work? I don't think so. So Venomous much for the plan. Bees. Ow. Ow. Ooh. Oh, Guys. it's not very effective. Dang ha. straight. You thought you could hit me with those venomous bees. I don't know. You should have known you should have known your types. Oh, oh critical hit. That's that not was cool. a lot. He's got an emoji there with hearts. Yeah, I that's love not it. Cool. I love killing you. I love it. <laughs> I love killing you. <laughs> I love to kill other creatures. It brings me pleasure to kill you, Cube Zero. Okay. Oh, I got poison. Stop slamming me. What do I look like? A pog? Oh no, I'm gonna die on the next turn. Um, what do you oh, got? Poison? Okay. What is that? Yeah, I'm poisoned. Uh, who else is a high level? Oh, I could put out X Fat. Well, I'm just gonna. Maybe I'll be lucky. Um, let's try scratching him. Oh, he raged. Oh. Uh oh. Jeez. Let's see. Oh, okay. well, that's good. That did nine damage. That's because I was smart and I lowered his defense first. So I lowered his I defense. I mean, you got ways to go. <sighs> Look, I'm going to take his ass out. <laughs> okay. Okay, here okay, we go. Okay, he's only got ten left. He's so, we're getting okay. close. We're getting close. Something's right, happening. Poofy, you're going to have to get out of there because oh, you are man. almost dead. Um, all right, wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow us with your wow, wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Um, wow, get out there. Get out there and do some damage. I believe in you, bird brain. Oh, oh, oh he boy. always manages to get go for the butt there. Oh yeah, those bees are very effective. Let's try to claw him. Sting that ass. Oh no, you killed him! You killed oh, my coral sting man! That ass. Uh is he almost like overexerted? Okay, how about Army the Sea? <laughs> Uh, let's see I what you can do. Sea, I yeah, need to see. While, that, while you're doing that, I'm just gonna heal Foofy because he's the only one that can actually kill this guy. Oh yeah? Um, yeah, he was the only one actually doing any damage. Well, give this guy a chance. Maybe he'll bite a leg off. Um, what is this? Concentrate? Scratch. Scratch him up. Does this thing oh. not, like, overexert himself? Okay, fine. Foofy, you're gonna do this. You're gonna do this, Foofy, oh, because... You're at, it's supposed to be like Temtem, where he overexerts himself? Yeah, they have like SP, and they're supposed to run out at some point, but he's just been pummeling me for like an hour straight. He's got some endurance there. Look, die. Oh my god, he's almost dead. So close, so close. Guys, guys, Foofy, just, just fucking kill him. <laughs> do it this round. Foofy, let's go! Do it, do it. Scratch him, scratch him, scratch oh, him, damn, two, scratch two. him, scratch him. Kill him! I did it! I beat someone higher level than me because I am a champ. I am a champ. Look, Foofy leveled up to level 6. Oh, you're Foofy. Foofy to 6, yeah. Oh, I got Frost Chomp. Chomp Whoa. the target with icy teeth. Has a 10% chance to freeze the target. Oh, right. Oh, Boobsy grew too. Oh, Boobsy. Boobsy grew, grew to level 5. Oh my god, Boobsy getting so strong. Army of the Sea awakens some potential. Oh my god, let's okay. get you some defense. Awake let's the potential. Awake. Uh, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, my guys are getting so strong. Oh my god, I'm having such a sexy team here. I Can like the save? scenes, they're nice. Yeah, the, the, the farm scene here. Yeah. Uh, oh, Perrin. 
Whew. What was... Thanks for that. I thought I was a gonna... I was just walking high on the fence and then suddenly Bezel stuck up on me. Anyway, thanks for helping me out. Oh boy, I go hell! Since you were working on that fence, are you by chance the blacksmith parent? The one and only. There's no better blacksmith around. But who's asking? My name is Tarky. I was uh, sent by Rigel to find you. Ugh, to have the essence collector installed, I presume. All right, let's get to it then. Come to, let's go to my workshop. Here we are. Welcome to my workshop, Tarky. Wow! From the looks of this workshop, you must be quite busy. Ugh, sure I am. I've been making spinners for day and night the last few weeks. I'm one of the few people working for Lux Solith that are skilled enough to make spinners. So I have been working very hard, but I can help you with your gauntlet. I'm quite familiar with Lux Solith technology, so it shouldn't take long to install a module. Thanks! Here's my gauntlet and here's the module! You trust him with that? Thank you, and meanwhile, can you can have the spare gauntlet. I guess so. Um, he's got a cool bowl cut. Like, no, always trust everyone with a bowl cut. That's what <laughs> I always say. That's the new hairstyle. Yeah, just plop a bowl on there, cut around it, boom, save you some money during this, you know, COVID. You can't be going to haircut place. You gotta just do bowl <laughs> style, man. There's a COVID hairstyle. <laughs> okay, he told us to go check the library. Okay, so we'll get started. We'll go check the library. But you know what, guys? We've had some fun. We've had some laughs. We had some tears. We, we've, we've had our highs. We've had our lows. But I think it's time that we end this episode for today. And it's time that we go. You, we're supposed to rhyme. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll start again. It's time for us to go. That would have made more sense. Uh, too bad we can't edit this and put that in. Oh, well. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>